Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how Australian scientists have mapped millions of galaxies to create a new atlas. The experts at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, Australia's National Science Agency, have created a new atlas of the universe. Experts at the agency have mapped 3 million galaxies with more details and in a record time of 300 hours, in comparison to previous mappings, which have taken years. The report claims the scientists at the agency were able to create a new atlas of the universe with almost 3 million galaxies in forms of pictures revealing twice the detail of the previous images. The data around this new discovery is publicly available and can help fellow scientists to study everything from star formation to how galaxies and their supermassive black hole evolve and interact, the lead author Dr. David McConnell said. We expect to find tens of millions of new galaxies in future surveys, he added. This has been possible due to the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, which is a collection of 36 dish antennas that work in coordination to capture panoramic views of the sky. Spread across an area of 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles. At the CSIRO's Murchison Observatory, about 700 kilometers north of Perth, Australia, this telescope combines signals from the smaller dishes and then creates high-resolution images for the scientists to study. The whole process is, however, costing a fraction of what a large dish usually costs, CSIRO claimed. For the first time, ASCAP conducted an all-sky survey and covered 83% of the sky. Using the technology, scientists were able to combine 903 high-resolution and detailed images. The scientists hope to find answers to the structuring and evolution of the Earth. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.